Welcome to The Nest, the modular experimental building at EMPA and IRVAG. Here, researchers are developing new technologies for living and working spaces of the future. In the Water Hub project, environmental engineer Torva Larsen and her team explore how to reduce the environmental impact of wastewater in our future cities, particularly within the context of climate change. In future, we will have increasing water scarcity in many parts of the world. And overall, where we have water scarcity, we simply need the technologies which we are developing in the Water Hub. The team is investigating how to recover nutrients and energy from wastewater and how to curb water use at household level. Many of those pollutants are valuable if we can extract them from wastewater. The Water Hub collects all different types of wastewater from the nest building. For instance, rainwater flows from the building's roof into an underground tank from which it can be reused to flush toilets. The researchers categorize the wastewater according to the type and concentration of contaminants it contains. Wastewater from washing machines, sinks and showers is only moderately polluted with soap and dirt and is thus termed light grey water. The grey water originating from the kitchen contains significant amounts of grease and oil and is therefore termed heavy grey water. Even waste entering the toilet is separated. A close look at the toilet seat reveals there is a divider. Urine and feces, also known as yellow and black water, are collected and treated separately. All of these different types of wastewater flow, each of them in its separate pipe, down to the basement, to the water hub. Here, the EOVAG researchers are testing new methods to purify and, in particular, to recycle the different types of wastewater. We produce clean water from grey water, we produce nutrients from urine, and we produce energy from faeces. The grey water is biologically treated and filtered by a membrane. What you see here is a membrane bioreactor. The water gets pushed through the membrane and thereby the virus and bacteria are retained. Additionally, other bacteria are growing on the surface of the membrane. They degrade the pollutants in the water, for instance the soap, and in order to do that they need oxygen. That's why we are aerating the whole thing. Especially when it comes to grey water, Torva Larsen notices an enormous opportunity to save more of this increasingly precious natural resource. We hope to get that far that we can reuse grey water even for showering. If we can do that, we have an enormous saving potential. The faecal matter from the toilets is dewatered and processed into energy-rich pellets, an ecological fuel for Nest's heating system. Ultimately, the urine is stabilized via a biological process and subsequently concentrated in a distiller. With this stabilization, the urine loses its characteristic unpleasant smell. Pharmaceutical residues are removed with an activated carbon. The stabilized and concentrated urine solution contains valuable nutrients and is used as a fertilizer for plants. Reduce, recover, reuse. Currently, the water hub is still in the research stage with the goal of optimizing new technologies. With these practical trials, EOVAG's water hub is leaping forward en route for a sustainable future. <laughs>